My name is Claire Morgan and I'm an artist. I make drawings and sculptures. Um, I'm from, from Belfast originally, but I live in Newcastle upon Tyne now, Gateshead. It's the same town, basically. There's myself and my sister, mother and father. Um, and my sister's two years younger than me. She's now a nurse. And my, my father is a maths teacher. He's retired now. Um, he taught in a school for, for his whole career. Um, and my mum was a nurse as well. Um, she died in 1992. Neither of my parents were interested in art as far as I am aware. Um, the only thing I can think actually is my dad used to make uh, fractal drawings. <laughs> I can remember that from photographs of me as a baby. Um, I think whenever I was being christened, there's a, a drawing that he did in the background that's, you know, a kind of simple fractal. Um, that's like the only artistic thing I can think of for my parents. But I just always wanted to be an artist. That was the thing that I wanted to be whenever I was a little kid. I was always drawing and making things whenever I was a child and I'm making things outside as well. So our house was surrounded by countryside and we, we played more in fields than with other kids actually. <laughs> whenever I was a teenager um, and when I was at university as well actually, I think I was quite boring. Like I was just working on art things the whole time and like at lunchtime staying in class in school by myself to draw or whatever. It's funny actually, um, whenever I was in, let me see, I probably would have been 12 or 13 in school, we were asked to choose uh, an image of an artwork from a book and copy a detail of it in our sketchbooks, big. Um, like a really basic exercise and I couldn't choose one and my teacher said oh what about this one and it's the the Russo which has the I can't remember the name of it but it's the Russo piece which has a woman in the foreground reclining and some like tiger or something in the background and so I went home and drew the whole thing and I didn't realize I was only supposed to draw a small bit so but it I remember that drawing always because of that um, and then just recently I was in Basel for a site visit for an exhibition I've got coming up there and I was looking in one of the museums there and there wasn't that Russo but there was another Russo that was really really similar and it was just really amazing actually to see it in real life it just seems silly because you've seen it it's different whenever you see something in real life though so like it really actually it had an impact on me and I've one of my paintings that I've just been working on is called Jungle with Setting Sun, which is the same as his, and it's, um, it's quite different from his work, but that's the, the point of using the same title and then changing it. There was a sense that if you were going to be an artist in Northern Ireland, your art would be about the situation in Northern Ireland, and a lot of artists there, that's what their work's about, and I just... It's, it's not something that I ever really wanted to, to pursue at all. I lived a little bit outside Belfast, but you, at that point in time living there, you can always feel the conflict there. As a teenager, for example, and you're meeting other kids, and you, what's your name is a loaded question, because if your name is a primarily Catholic name, then you've kind of cornered yourself, or if it's a predominantly Protestant name, the same thing. So unless you know what the other person is first, it's kind of dangerous. And not the same with what school you go to, you don't, you don't know what the right answer is going to be. So it's always was an underlying thing, actually. Um, like whenever I moved to Newcastle and we were looking for a house to live in, the immediate thing was, oh, is this a Catholic or a Protestant area? And it doesn't exist anywhere else, but you don't realise the really like really considerable things that are affecting your life um, and I was never really directly affected by anything 
you know, anything really bad, like someone being killed or a bomb or anything like that. Um, but I remember whenever I was a, a child uh, walking to school, this is whenever I was maybe six or seven years old, um, British soldiers would be hiding in the hedges of, um, of just of gardens on the street as you were walking along. There would always be soldiers kind of hiding in the hedges um, with their guns kind of following whoever's going past. Um, and I remember a couple of times soldiers spitting at me because I was wearing a Catholic school uniform. Like, it's not cool <laughs> at all. It's a really, really horrible thing. So it, uh, yeah, it just made me want to leave there actually. So I did. <laughs>